So just down from the Johnson Pond Trail in the Withlacoochee State Forest here is the Oxbow Recreation Trailhead. And now it says that there's uh, some camping back in here. I have, I've done this trail before. By the way, the, the number 2787, uh, I believe this is the Withlacoochee Trail is this road right here. But you can see, you see right up here is the Johnson Pond Trail. You can literally just walk from Johnson Pond to here. And, and uh, Johnson Pond was 1.9 miles. Uh, and uh, I just did that trail. So now I came down here and we're gonna, I'm gonna do the Oxbow Trail. So the, uh, just made it two, two videos. You can see there's a couple of people here, which is good. I didn't have to see anybody on the Johnson Pond Trail. So let's get the sign on the video right here. Try not to get the uh, license plate. By the way, I did, I have picnicked at this table right here years past. Uh, so that, that is always is nice to have a picnic table there. But this is, uh, so here you go. So here's, here's the Johnson Pond Trail here. And just down the road, we're doing in the Ox Pond. So we are right here. And we're just going to do this trail. And then uh, these are all horse trails back in here. You can hike off of the, uh, the Johnson Pond Trail and hit these, uh, these horse trails and just hike forever all the way over to here. I mean, you could literally spend uh, 15 hours here hiking and just keep going and going and going. But let's get the Oxbow Trail and it's kind of a, looks like a short hike. Let's see, well, let's see what it says here on the sign. Welcome to the Oxbow Trail Recreation Area. Oxbow Bend Recreation Area is a joint venture between the Division of Forestry, Two Mile Prairie Track and Boy Scout Troop 415, sponsored by the Crystal River United Methodist Church. Ongoing partnership to open this pristine area on the Withlacoochee River for the enjoyment of the public. And I'll let you read the rest of that on your own. So uh, then it says camping area and canoe pullout. So let's see if we can find that and get that on the video. So this is the beginning of the Oxbow Trail. <laughs> Quite beautiful. Much more, uh, more wooded than the Johnson Pond Trail, if you ever watch that video. So you get in a whole different, uh, whole different look and feel. Let's enjoy the hike. Always got to get the weird stuff on the trail. I don't know why some kid would kick off his shoes and leave them there, but uh, maybe they just didn't like them. Or maybe they're going to pick them up on their way out. Uh, we did see some cars in the parking lot there, so I'm assuming we're going to come across some people back here. We shall see. Of course, like I said, Johnson Pond, there was nobody there. So... <clears throat> Yeah, it looks like the trail could use some maintenance. And yes, there are wild pigs back here because that's uh, that's a sign of their digging right there. So as you come down the entrance, I do remember this. This is just kind of the, the, the fork into the trail. You've got this, but this just goes up to a, uh, a sign on the road so you don't make the left. And if you look, here's the yellow mark on the tree. It's going to the right. So I just wanted to, to clue you in on that. So we're Hitting kind of a transition. We were hiking more or less next to, I imagine this is quite swampy during the raining season. And then we're coming into this, more or less hiking down a road. It looks like there's been some bicycles back here, so I'm not sure. I would imagine mountain biking is permitted. I didn't see anything that said no dogs. So I believe you can bring your dogs back here too. Now this is where I, I'm not working from memory. There's the yellow mark there. Looks like that might be two marks, and I'm going to go left. I think it's just this is just the loop right here, if I remember correctly. Check this out. I don't want to disturb them, but there's a tent back here. <clears throat> so I guess uh, this, this might be the camping area, or just somebody threw up a tent. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so I'm here at the campsite, and we're right next to the river. And check out this setup. They got the kayaks here. They got the chair. How long y'all been uh, been been hanging out here? About three days. Monday. Since Monday? Oh man! How long? Well, you don't have to tell me how long you're staying. I, but the. Uh, I haven't decided. Just just chilling, huh? Yeah. This is this is fantastic. I tell you what, I I, I love the, the 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 roof over the tarp, you know. And you boy, you nailed the weather. My God, we haven't had any rain. We had rain yesterday. Did it really? And it, I did make this so I could collect rainwater over here in this bucket. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, what what would you do for water out here? I guess well, you, I could pump. You know, I've got my my backpacking gear. You pump water from the river. Guy. Oh, that's a good idea. 
Yeah, if you can buy, you, know, you can go to REI or Cabela's or whatever, you can get one of those backpack filters and then you can just pump your drinking water right from that river. That is a super smart idea. You said yeah. that cybersecurity guy? Yeah, here. that's the channel on YouTube. That cybersecurity guy, all one word. So I'll put, I'll put this video up on YouTube and uh, like, like I said, Outdoors with Kirk on Rumble. Okay. So that's uh, that's my outdoor channel. And so it, that way you don't get all the politics. I got to also a Rumble channel called The Burn. That's my geopolitical channel. Yeah. So check out the dog though. Isn't that cool? Yeah, oh. they, he's a good watchdog too. There he goes. Uh oh, somebody must be coming up. She doesn't attack <laughs> She does. She's friendly. She's friendly. But check out the campsite here with the with the fire the and the tent. Yeah. I, I got a lot. I tell you what, man. When I was a kid, there'd be nothing better than this. What a memory, I'm huh? Trying to tell him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, what you got the fishing pole? Well, where's the, where's the fishing poles at? Right there. Oh yeah. How's the fishing been? You caught anything? No, nothing. Nothing really. Nothing. Wow. I got uh, the zoom bait on my main. Yeah. Little okay. Cool. And then I see the little light there. Is that uh, light up at night? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, that's so cool. There's a few of them around here. It keeps me from hurting myself. All right. Well, I tell you what. I love the setup. I, I'm going to continue on the hike. Uh, good. Nice meeting y'all. Nice meeting. All right, you guys. Enjoy. Yeah, you'll be on YouTube soon. We'll be. All right. See you, Poochie. This trail goes down a ways. What the? This way? Oh well, heck, let How me go. Let, let me go on down there. So just coming down from the campsite, they said that I've got to hike this short trail. So we're going to check this out. Look at this. This is really cool. We're just hiking along the river. Well, I was unfortunate to hear that it hadn't caught any fish, huh? But anyway, what a what an awesome setup! Holy moly, I tell you, that's what I was talking about. You know, you come back here, you camp out for three or four days i mean nothing life best things in life are free da -na -na -na, da -na, da -na -na -na. so i guess it does kind of end right here but that is cool i see there's somebody put a piece of wood there probably sit there and fish let's go on a ways further see if we can keep going so the short trail just kind of dead ends right here but i tell you what i'm glad that we got to hike along the river this would be cool to just Sit on that, uh, you know, if you brought some more wood, you could turn that into uh, a nice little fishing place to sit and do your thing, huh? Pretty cool. So I'm just up from the uh, campsite there. Well, wasn't that cool? I tell you, I, I talked to them for quite some time. Great people. But uh, anyway, this is kind of what the trail's looking like as we move on along. Boy, I love that camping setup. That really made me envious. I, I hope uh, after, well, it's been a year since I broke my neck. Maybe maybe in another six months or so I can do something, do some camping. We'll get some camping outdoors with Kirk videos someday, hopefully. Boy, my memory's coming back to me because last time I did this, it, it had been a rainy season. And really, you kind of hike around like a swamp. You know what I mean? During the summer when it's been raining, this is, this is kind of swampy all through here, which is pretty cool, actually. Uh, but right now, you know, we haven't had rain in quite some time. It's really dry here in Florida. A lot of people camping back here. Check this out. There's another campsite along the river. Oh, don't want to get the faces on the video, but uh, nice setup there. I'm telling you, this is this is awesome back here. Where you can smell the firewood. And they got the watchdogs out. Hopefully they won't attack me. But look at this. Kind of hiking by the swamp. So we won't go over there and disturb them. Just keep on going on the trail here. Another clip. Boy, you can see the wild pigs have been digging right in here. Wonder if they uh, have seen any at night. Hmm, be interesting. But that's, that's two campsites right on the river. I tell you what, this is... Uh, I didn't remember it from the last time I was here. I'm glad that I do these trails again and again. You know, and plus I like to do it different time of the year. Oh, I forgot to say, this is uh, June 2nd, 2023. So I always like to get the time of the year so that you can see what the trail looks like at different times of the year. Now, look at here. We've got something going off to the right. That's obviously not the trail. Let's go back in here, ways. See what we see. This little side shot just kind of takes you over to a fence 
But see, you could, uh, you could in theory, put a tent up right there. I don't know if you can, I'm sure you could get to the river if you really wanted some privacy. Wouldn't be bad. I just wanted to come up to this fence and see what, this is kind of, I wonder why there's a fence there. You know, or maybe that, I guess, private property. Although it's not even marked as private property. Hmm. Now let's get back on the trail. Anyway, I wanted to get these weird yellow. I was looking at these from, from a distance. Plus I wanted to see what this would look like as a campsite. Check this out. If I were gonna set up camp, this would be a great place. You could just put your tent right around in here. Although I imagine it's pretty wet when it rains. But check it out, you, you've got to, you can get right up to the river. I wonder what's with these, uh, I, I don't know, the, this, this growth that comes up looks like a, like a bottom of a cave. I don't know what the, it's weird, isn't it? Although it would be, would be tough to get your fishing pole over top of that. But you could do, you could probably work something out. So we're just heading back from the, uh, the river there. Third, third, discovered that third place to camp if you really wanted to, to get off the grid. Boy, I tell you, it's the first time I've ever seen people camping on uh, any of my hikes. So that was pretty cool. That's really cool to see people doing that. So I had to get underneath that. So you can see they, they could do some maintenance on the trail. But uh, kind of more of the same. So just continuing along on the Oxbow Trail here. Really not much to see. I can hear the car noise, so I... Imagine it's a, it's a pretty short little hike, but very pretty and definitely uh, worth uh, getting in. If you're going to do uh, the Johnson Pond, you might as well come here and do the Oxbow Trail as well. Yeah, make a day out of it. So this is pretty much it for the Oxbow Trail. There's the gate in the road right there. So what you do is you make a left and then you'll hit the uh, the end chute to the, to the trail just right up here. So pretty, pretty decent little hike. Uh, I, I, I tell you, I got getting to see the campers. That was really cool. So if you recall, when we came in, I guess I'm not sure what the, the red mark on the tree is supposed to be, but this is the little entrance trail that's going to take us back to the parking lot. And when we came in, originally, we, we made the right right here. But uh, you know what? There's a little area. I'll see if I can find it uh, that I've, I looked at the last time I was here. There's a little trail that kind of, as you're coming in on this chute, that goes to the right. And uh, I'm going to try to take that and show you what's back there. It's pretty cool. Not much to see. It's just kind of a sandy area. There's the parking lot. And uh, and then, of course, the trail goes this way. And this is that little side, little trail that, that I was telling you about. It doesn't really go anywhere, but... Uh, I'm gonna hike it just to show you what's back here. So just as I remembered it, I'm not sure what the, why all these rags are here <laughs> on the ground. I always try to get the weird stuff on the video, hit a couple of spider webs, but uh, this is more or less what the trail does. Kind of comes in, but I, I remembered this. So it's worth getting this, getting a, a look at this. Isn't that cool? That is really cool. And then the trail just kind of goes into the woods, and I think at some point you can actually get back on the main trail going this way but I just wanted I knew there was something back here that I wanted to see because that's that is really cool isn't it so if you want to take this little side trail it's worth it so kind of at the end of this little right chute we got this right here so maybe uh, somebody had thrown up a tent right here I'm guessing I'll tell you if, if you were traveling and you're just looking for an overnight place to stay real quick you know you can see the, the paper plates back there don't know why people won't pick up after themselves but anyway, uh, and that more or less just goes back into the woods, if I recall.